Right, welcome back. Um, this week's project is going to be a little bit different. It's well, basically, we we back onto woodland, so our bedroom is backing onto woodland, um, and the amount of bugs and spiders and leaf hoppers and mozzies and all that sort of stuff that comes into our bedroom at night um, because we have the windows open. Um, it's just ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bug screen for the bedroom window. Now, as you'll see in a minute, I like to use as much recycled materials as possible. It, it cuts me inside to have to go and buy um, brand new timber when I've got loads of timber but my saw is just doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the power to go through even pine. I have put a new blade on it recently and it just doesn't really make any difference. So I'm forced to go and buy new timber for this job which is gutting. So, right, I hope you enjoy it and I hope that it can kind of inspire you to do something similar. You never know. Especially you guys over in um, Australia. God, everything in Australia wants to eat you apparently. Maybe you can do one. <laughs> This is the problem I've got with my saw. I mean, this is just ply. Uh, sorry, ply, idiot. It's pine, so it's really soft. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see the depth of that there. I, I'll go up about, I don't know, quarter of an inch, run it through, and then go up another quarter of an inch, run that through, and then turn it over, drop it down a quarter of an inch, run that through, Spin it around, really. it makes me want to beat myself over the head with this. So I didn't want to, but I've had to do it. The uh, the cardinal sin of going and buying timber. I know it's a bit crude, so please excuse my planning. So. What I'm going to do first, this is the window uh, as it is in the bedroom upstairs. So you've got two main windows that open out and then you've got a small window that opens up and out. We want to be able to open the windows and close the windows, obviously. Uh, my initial thought was to make a screen, one massive screen, um, and just pull it off when we need to, but I think that's going to be a problem if we want to just simply open a window. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a frame that goes around the outside that fits nice and snug to the uh, PVC frame that's inside. Um, and then I'm going to kind of replicate the windows that are there. So this screen will open in, this one will open in, and then that one will open in as well. So we can access each window. Um, the voil that I've chose to do this to, is, um, it's black, but you can see through it. I mean, it comes in loads of colours. We, in the front bedroom, we had like a, a shimmery purple, which was quite nice. But I think with the black, um, it's going to be a little bit shaded because the wife does suffer with migraines and light sensitive um, problems. So it'll dull it down a little bit. Although our bedroom is facing the woods which is north facing so we don't get that much sun through the window. Anyway let's get on with it. 
Right, so we're nice and square. Um, I've just got to let it dry and eight hours. All right, I'll be back in eight hours. Um, we're going to build the frames for the, the uh, window bits, opening bits, and we're going to put a cross brace in there for that small opening window. And then I'm going to spray black. I thought, you can't really have a white frame with black voil going over the top. It'll look better if the frame's black and the voil's black. So, well, we'll see. See what happens. <clears throat> I'll see you later. Stay. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. Give me that ball. Please. Please. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Let's have that. <laughs> Give me kisses. Give me big kisses. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Go on.
So what we've practically done is just copy the window in the bedroom. It can't get any easier than that. Um, I kind of, I mean, the, the frame itself was nice and square. I checked it earlier. Uh, left it overnight to dry. Was it, uh, and it was nice and square, so that's fine. So basically the doors, I just offered them up, marked them against the frame, cut them, glued and screwed. I mean, it's um, it's not going to win any awards for uh, carpentry, but it'll look good and it'll do its job, and ultimately that's what we're after. So very very basic. Um, it's just a butt joint. That's it. It's not going to take any weight. In fact, once the fabric is stretched around it, it's going to keep it in anyway. So it's glued and just a couple of pilot hole screws into the end grain um, and a couple of oak. You know, I was going to actually turn these, but for a pound from b and I'd probably use more than that in electricity, um, getting the, uh, the light warmed up. <laughs> so for, I think it was the one pound and nine pence or something silly, and they're quite nice. So next stage, next step is to sand it, um, paint it, and then put the fabric on. Now, I took the frame to the bedroom to, bear in mind I measured it um, across the bottom and up the side. Now, I took the frame up there, and it turns out that the window isn't square itself. This is square and the window's not, so I've got to make some fine adjustments to slot it, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's quite right, let's get on. tip <clears throat> you get this auto extreme paint in, in a rattle cap the last one I got I couldn't push it down I had to literally put my whole body weight on it and try and spray what I was spraying then I realized childproof cap So that's it. <coughs> I've run out of spray. Do you remember black ash uh, furniture? It was it was all the rage back in the uh, the early noughties. <laughs> Everyone seemed to have it, didn't they? It was like a plastic veneered um, crap, really. 
This kind of looks like black ash or scorched pine. I'm going to get out of here because I can't breathe. Right, let's get this finished, shall we? Um, it's a bit. Uh, I might need to adjust that hinge over there because. So what I've done with the rest of it, other than that one up there, is I've made it really tight. There's no point in having a screen if things can crawl in between the windows, is that really? Um, that's why, what I'm going to do is... The screen that I made for the front bedroom uh, a few years back, I, I put the, the foil on the front. Um, and what happens when you close the window it kept getting stuck and wedged and I mean it's only voil. It is quite strong but if you rub it too much it will fray. So I'm going I'm to turn this over um, and I'm going to put it on the back side and staple it that way. I think it'll look, it'll look good, it'll look okay but more importantly it will stop the bugs coming in the bedroom. Oh yeah, and it rained like mad last night and leaked. I've got a tiny little hole somewhere and it's leaked on the corner of it over there. Thanks for watching, uh, it's up, I'll put some stills up at the end. You'll notice um, with the stills, there is a few gaps uh, here and there. What I had to do, because the window frame wasn't square, I had to, after taking the photos, <laughs> I had to readjust the hinges to suit um, the unsquareness of the window, if that makes sense. But it's turned out lovely, it's up, it's going to stop the bugs and most importantly it's going to stop my missus from screaming every time a spider um, finds its way into the bedroom. Or a mozzie, or a wasp, or a leafhopper. Those things are underrated, horrible things. Anyway, <laughs> like I say, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's inspired one of you to do the same. Or Thereabouts. Um, massive thanks. I've had a, an influx of subscribers recently, mainly um, due to the. Where is he? Where is he? The bearded giant. He, he gave me a load of shout outs recently, so I really appreciate that. Uh, I just hope I can keep you entertained and keep you subscribed. Uh, remember, if there's any of you out there that wants to stick a sticker on my board, um, look me up um, I'd like to get a few more on there if that's possible if not 
I'll be happy with the people I've got already. <laughs> right, I'll see you in the next build.